Okay, so we got our bait, we got our trigger. We have our lever stick right here attached to our bungee cord going straight up the tree like an elevator. We have our loop tied around the tree here. What we're going to do is come down through the loop like this and that creates our toggle that will release. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our bait. In this case it's a pheasant crop. You can see it's full of seeds and stuff. I'm going to shove that on our bait stick, just like that. Nice and juicy. We're going to have to work at it to get it. We'll put a little bit of these seeds down out of the crop on the ground here. All right. Now we're going to pull this down and put it through the loop. Again, that creates our lever. Okay. Every trap has to have a lever. And every trap has to have an engine. Our engine is our bungee cord. It's up on top, up the tree here. All right. And every tap, trap has to have a bait stick or a trigger. And that's what this is. And we put this right inside here for stability. Drop it down on top like this. Now, what we're going to want to do here, we want our loop inside this area. So that the animal springs this, he gets caught in the trap. So what we'll do is we'll grab our loop over here and we'll open it up with our hand just like this, and we'll just lay it on the ground for a minute, kind of out of the way. Then we'll put our trigger slash bait stick back up inside the trap, and we'll steady it. And it's a little bit of a balancing act to get it right, because you want it touchy. Okay. And then we'll take and position our loop so that it is where we want our animal. Then we would funnel the animal in. Now we could take this loop, put it clear over to this side very easily, like this on the ground, and block this off with a rock or a stump so that the animal could only come in from this side. Now once we have our trap baited and set, we can maneuver our snare loop where we want it and bring it all the way forward this way. Remember, we want the animal standing inside the loop. Then we can funnel him off on this side with a big rock or a log so that he can only come into this side of the trap and that's what we want. Something like this, it's a crop, it's got seeds and things in it already, it's going to be very good for a bird. So he's going to stand in his trap and when he pecks at this to get the seeds out, his legs are going to get hung in the trap and that's exactly what we want to happen.